Well, good morning, everyone, and uh, thank you for joining us here today. Thank you, uh, Minister Ellis, uh, for hosting us in your uh, constituency. I'm honored as well to be uh, your neighbor uh, just across Bow Trail here in, in Calgary Bow. Thank you to um, Patricia, Chair of Calgary Board of Education, Marilyn Dennis, President of Alberta School Boards Association. I saw Brian Zumlis with uh, Calgary Catholic and other representatives from other school boards uh, here as well. Thank you all for joining us and other caucus colleagues. Uh, I saw Minister McIver. Uh, thank you for joining us and being here today. I know Minister Ellis mentioned that he's a graduate uh, of uh, Ernest Manning, the old one down in Westbrook. Uh, I want to take the opportunity to say I'm also a graduate of, of Ernest Manning, but a more recent one, um, um, just, um, just, just for note. Uh, but as the Premier noted, our province is indeed growing at an unprecedented rate. It's truly historic, and for very good reason. We have a strong economy, low taxes, uh, great paying jobs, and safe communities. Alberta is truly the best place in Canada to live, work, and raise a family. Last school year, our school boards across the province did an amazing job welcoming these new families that are coming to our province with open arms by providing their children with the supports that they need to succeed in the classroom. As we look forward to the next school year, we want to see our school boards continue their great work as they work through this historic enrollment pressure and as they work through rising and unavoidable cost pressures. However, Knowing the real uh, pressures school authorities are facing, we must do more. And so as the Premier noted, I'm happy to take the opportunity to share more details about today's $215 million um, injection that the Premier has just announced. I am confident that this new funding will help ensure that Alberta students continue to receive a world-class education. So I'll talk a little bit about uh, enrollment and cost pressures. So to ensure money flows into the classroom through this period of historic growth, we're providing our school boards with an additional uh, $125 million. This $125 million, as I noted, will go directly to our school boards to help them deal with increasing enrollment and increasing costs. Uh, I'll give you um, a quick overview. I should note that all school boards in the province will receive this increase, but I want to highlight how some of this funding will affect our metro school divisions. Calgary Catholic School Division, as a consequence of this injection, will receive $9.7 in additional funding. Edmonton Catholic, 10.5. Edmonton Public, 22.4. And Calgary Board of Education, 31.6. School boards can use this new funding to hire more teachers, classroom support staff, or to address rising costs due to uh, inflation. More specifically, we will be increasing the base instruction grant rates by 1.1%. And we will be providing a 2% increase to targeted program services and supports across the board, which include grants for PUF, English as an additional language, and other specialized support areas. We're also increasing the funding rates for the Supplemental Enrollment Growth Grant. Through this approach, all students, including our youngest and most vulnerable learners, will receive the supports that they need. Secondly, I'd like to touch on the investment of additional modulars. The remaining of the 215 million, or 90 million, will be going to purchase and deliver up to 100 modulars and cover the cost to allow school boards to move 50 modulars that they currently have to higher priority areas. The new modulars will provide an additional 2,500 student spaces, and the relocated spaces will transfer up to 1,200 student spaces to our fastest growing communities. With this funding, Edmontonians will see 43 new modulars coming to their communities. Rocky View schools will receive 12 new modular classrooms and have uh, uh, the ability to relocate an additional 12, and Calgarians will see 45 new modulars. Our supplier has already begun work on building these new modulars, and we anticipate all 100 to be ready by the end of December, with some arriving at school sites as early as this September. The relocation of the 50 modular classroom units will begin immediately with the intent of these being in place at the start of the school year. Today's announcement is on top of the 70 new modulars that were announced as part of Budget 24. 
In closing, I just want to note, uh, we don't typically announce additional funding outside of the budget cycle, but continued growth in the system beyond original projections, along with rising cost pressures, requires action now so that our school authorities can plan for the upcoming school year, and our government is committed to taking steps when needed. We know that these steps will be welcomed by our partners because today's announcement ensures that they are in the best position to make sure our kids continue to receive a world-class education. Alberta's government is committed to modernizing and building schools, and I'll continue to work with my ministry colleagues and the Premier to ensure that all students receive a world-class education. Thank you so much.